Welcome back to another video. The sun is out this morning. It's beautiful. Still not that warm yet, but it's getting there. So in today's video, I finished the gable. I have a special technique of how I farm my stone. We're going to go over the way how I do the pattern. Here's the gable. So we're going to go over all this detail. The flashing stone right on to the gable and how to get the pattern in the, in the stone. So stay tuned. And if you're new here, please click that subscribe button for more upcoming video like this one. And click the notification bell as well. So when I upload new video, you get notified. Here again guys, we're gonna make another step over here. We're gonna overlap another four inches over now. And from here, always step away from the point of the roof here, at least four inches away or three inches. That's how I do it, one foot. I like to have the way how I do it because I know everyone works different, right? Here guys, we're gonna overlap another another four inches over onto this one again. One foot. So basically it's like a step. So you start from there, four inches overlap. Just keep overlapping until you reach all the way up here. It's important to put a nail to secure your cushion. Put a nail like so. Guys, the reason why I'm the reason why I'm catching my level here is because I wanna have a, I wanna have a full stone here. So I wanna take the measurement from here down, which is six and a half, and then I put the cut down here just in case I have to put a piece of cut down. So that's the reason why I'm catching my level. And the, another purpose is to, to try to have the same joint from that side over there, over here. So after we're going to take our measurement down the 10 inches to work our way up to have the same joint. I'll explain more when I get here, guys.
Oh, but I don't think you will have one hand. I don't think you will have one hand. Right, this is the reason why I put my level. You see, I, I build this side up right up to the level. That's the reason this is called why I put the level from over there right across. We have a level wall from right over. Basically, when you have a gable and you're, you're setting up, you're, you're flushing. So your gable, the first flushing, you want to start from the, from the, the, this is the fascia board, the edge of the roof. So you want to make your first step four inches over. And then after you make your four inches over, usually it's, it's six inches is the step, six inches up. But you can go with like a medium stone, this is like six and a half. So you want to go six, each time you go, uh, the six inches, each six inches is where you're going to start your flushing and overlap uh, four inches, four inches or four and a half inches, the least amount. And then it's going to be the same overlap. So you're going to just continue another six and a half, overlap again, uh, four and a half, another six inches, overlap, four and a half, and then the final one, this one here will go right across. As you see, we go right across with this one. And over here is the same, same procedure. You're gonna start with the first step over, uh, four and a half, then eight, uh, six inches up, then you, you just keep on doing the same, the same um, step over right across. Basically, everything here is gonna be covered. Under here is gonna be covered when, when the roof is finished. So basically, that's how you set up a gable with flushing. Guys, basically laying the stone like this is pretty much the easiest way. When you start in, because basically you see we start right on top of our flashing. So it's, it's important to go like three feet right off small, then you put a big and break it. And then you go four feet right off medium, and then you go with a, a smaller one after it. That way you have a longer line to play with. I'll show you what I mean later on.
four feet, I break it. The ones that reach four feet are left, you, you break it. So you look, I put a stone right here now. I put a stone right here and I break it. So now we're gonna continue with a different line. Okay guys, so remember we talked about this line, the, the, the bed joint, we don't want it to be more than four feet. So here we're gonna put a small stone right here and then we gotta break our joint again. I'll show you guys what I mean by Put a small one right here now. Now we're gonna break it. I'm gonna explain to you guys in a bit what I mean by it. So it's, it's pretty much easy and simple to know which stone to go on top of this one. You jolly want to put a medium, it's either a small or a, or a big normally go on top of the medium. If you, if you continue the band like this, you should be good going all the way up. So for instance, here now is asking for a medium. Here you could use a small, continue go all over on this one. So basically, to get the pattern that we have, basically the, the bed joint, you don't want to more than four feet long and the edge joint no more than the biggest stone that we have you judge so this is the biggest stone so once we go more this is 10 inches once we go 10 inches we have to break it so now we have to put a stone across this right here we only allow to lay stone right up to this and then we have to put a one across like this to break it so basically you can play around with the stone just try not to put medium on top of medium big on top of big or small on top of small and basically the pattern will play in place so basically the stone will basically tell you which one to go with after the other so here he's telling me now i should put a small one here so we're going to put a small one and guys if you have a this is how i learned to do it if you have another way of um, doing it just comment down in the bottom you know let us here if you have a other ways of laying this man-made stone here. This. Okay guys, for instance, just if we put our small, clearly it's telling us now that we need to put a medium. So we could put a medium, we don't wanna go, you don't wanna go as close to the head. The closest you wanna go is four inches at least four inches to the hedge or, or, or more or less that's basically how you know so now we're gonna we're gonna put a 10 inches right here so basically to to butter whole stone you basically wanna 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 piece off the front like so and then you go like so The, the biggest size stone now we have to break it you can't continue go with this joint else you, you basically you pass the the rule is to follow is three rule the bed joint the edge joint and and don't go more than the the space of the don't go more than the biggest size stone that you basically have once you follow those three rules basically you should be good here we have we have a small stone. We have two choices. Here we only allow to put a medium or we could put a big. And you have to change the big from here, then the joint's gonna go more than the, the rule which is 10 feet. So for instance, I'm gonna show you guys some. This is a big stone. I'm gonna put a big right here now, it will go more than 10 feet, more than 10 inches. You don't want that. So now we only allow to put a medium here. You could put a medium from here and then you could put a big over to this side. Now we're gonna put a medium. So a small and a medium end up to be the same 10 inches, just as the same, just as the big one. So once you hold a small and a medium, usually it works out to be the same 10 inches. This is the way how to cut a stone using a chopping hammer. This is how to cut it with the top right around the stone. So this is our mark, the top here. 
stop the back and then we knock the side like so. See? It's perfectly. So we have it right in our mark. It's basically how to cut it using your hammer. It's perfectly fit guys. So here, just because of the food that's here now, we, we can either put a big or continue with our with our medium spoon. We're gonna just continue with our medium. Guys, basically when we're doing a cable, when you're doing a cable, this is how you check to know whether or not. Oh, let me spin my camera. So guys, when you're doing a cable, this is where you check to know whether or not. Always make sure if all of the stone is touching coming up this way. And how you know if, 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 you, if the stone come all the way out, you just want to put a level like so. Once all of the stone is clearing like this, once the stone is just for instance, this stone is already is past the level here. You want to put a level, put it on all of the, the rafters, and make sure all the stone is inside of the level. Basically, that's the way how you know whether or not if um, if your stone clear it the way because here is where the soffit gonna be. So you want to make sure you put the stone right in in place that way it clear the soffit. You won't have any space after it when they put the stuff up here. So this line here, you see we are almost, it's almost four feet. So now we gotta put a 10 inches, then we have to change it to the, to a smaller, we are gonna step down. Here we put a 10 inches. Now So we don't want to continue with this because it's almost four feet now. We want to step down and go with a different size joint. I'll show you what I mean by it. Because remember, you don't want to go the bed joint no more than four feet. So now we step down, so it's a different, it's a different line. So this, it's going to be a different row now. Right on top of this now, we only allowed to put a medium. We have to put a medium here now, or we can put a big from here going back. I'll show you guys what I mean. Here, put a medium. Sometimes when you put in a big one, it's best to measure first. You see, that way you don't have to take it up and put it back down. We're gonna go on up here. So here now guys, basically here it's, 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 it's clearly telling you now because remember once you have a small and a medium that's the biggest size because the small small and a medium had up to be the same size as the big one. So clearly now you have to put a small here because if you put a medium then it's going to go too big, you're going to break the rule. So you have to put a small here. Now we'll put a small, this is the size, you don't want to go bigger than that. Okay guys, so here, here you see we have, we have a big and the space clearly is telling us that we have to put a small because remember we don't want to go, we don't want to break the law. So now we have to put a, we have to put a small one right there now. And how do you know when you need to put a big? So to put a big, to put a big one when you need to put a big one basically you go by the span so for instance here you have medium small medium small here it's calling for a big because you don't want to have too many of the same stone here and without a big within the span so that's when you know that you need to, to throw in a big here and here so the main reason why you want to put in you want to throw in a big here after you reach a medium small a medium small because you don't want to continue with the same it's definitely gonna look too crowded and you may break the rule the rule that we're talking the main three rules so you want to keep on every now and again throw in a one stone here and there big. now we're gonna throw in a big here
zero. <laughs> Guys, one to finish, we want to check, make sure we are 100% plumb. Make sure all of the stone is touching the level this way, because after, we're gonna have our, our soffit run like this, and if we don't have all stone, then you're gonna have a huge gap on in it. So make sure we run our level, just like this, go all the way down. Just, just stop it like that, just in case one of them wanna go in line. It can go in line, the same over this side. Like we're good. Now it's time to do our job. Basically the reason why I'm doing this because I'm trying to help prevent the water from going inside the time being because there is no shingles um, they don't install the shingles as yet so we're just um, trying to um, secure it as best as we can. 